and what needs to be cut off is the motherfuckers around you who just who don't believe in you enough to take you goddamn serious. And taking you serious mean if you tell them, hey man, could you please not drink when you when we go somewhere? Could you please not smoke when we go somewhere? We not gonna be late when we do this. I need you to be up at this time. When I call you, I need you to answer. I'm not calling you to talk about no fucking hoes. I'm calling you to talk about this goddamn business. I'm trying to incorporate you in my fucking business. Because if I don't do it, motherfuckers in the goddamn street gonna say I'm fucked up. And when I come up, they're like, oh, that nigga came up and left, motherfucker. I didn't leave this motherfucker. I've been trying to tell this nigga to come on for damn near eight years. How long you supposed to wait on a motherfucker? And I'm going to tell you right now. You ain't supposed to wait a goddamn day. Because a motherfucker supposed to know. If they want the shit as much as you do, then they'll sacrifice the same way you did. Are you fucking serious? Hater proof best edition. <laughs> Look, what I need to talk to y'all about what you do. We're gonna go through this together because like most of your hard times, they wouldn't be so hard if you got to go through them with somebody. But when you gotta go through a hard time by yourself, that's what this show is about. I don't know the farmer term, but I know that motherfuckers don't want to be there when they got to work in the field and sweat. They just want to be there when it's time to eat. And see, this shit get real tricky. When do you cut off a loved one? Friend, family, somebody that you actually got love for. See, when you have to keep telling a motherfucker, like you got to tell a motherfucker, hey man, you going to have to stop smoking goddamn weed before you come up in here. You gotta stop drinking while you in the studio. You gotta stop um, swerving when we on the road. You know what I'm saying? You, you, no, dog, you gotta stop trying to fuck these hoes at the show. If you're a woman and you running a, a, a hair shop or something like that, a salon, tell a bitch, hey, you gonna have to stop smoking before you walk up in here. Stop drinking while you up in here and shit like that. Like, we trying to like you my sister. I love you, but no saying I'm trying to propel my business to the next level. And I don't want to be just relegated, meaning uh, set to one type of people. I want white women to be fit to feel wanted or feel safe when they walk up in here with their teenage children. See, it's really the people that you keep around you or you allow to stay in your life directly reflects how far you think you're gonna go in life. Because if you don't feel like you're gonna go no further than uh, it is real shack, then you'll keep all the no saying niggas around you that you had since you was 15 years old. This is the same reason why when I jumped in the streets, my childhood friends got the fuck away from me because that's not what they wanted to do. And I respect my niggas to the utmost for doing that. I think they exhibited oh God, the yeah. utmost strength and integrity for them not to follow me out there and see what the fuck was going on and shit like that. There are things that took place to where I felt like, oh man, oh, nigga should have did this, nigga should have did that. But see, you got to talk about what you did wrong. And see, niggas don't want to do that. Talk about what the fuck they did. What I did was, I went against the grain when I went into the streets. If I wouldn't have done that, then niggas would have had no reason to distance themselves from me. You know what I'm saying? I understand that as a man, or as a grown person, or as a business person, as a creator, as an entrepreneur, what you're going to have to do is be able to assess the real issue. If all you want to do is assess the cosmetic problem, then all you'll do is wipe the surface and you'll continue to have that fucking issue until you're ready to analyze and work on that problem. 
Just because you don't want to have to pay for a new transmission don't mean that you're not going to have to buy a new transmission if that's what's fucked up on the car. You might be able to do some, the shade tree mechanic might be able to do something to get that bitch running and shit like that. But if the transmission fucked, then it's fucked. And until you deal with that transmission, that car is not going to run. This is my issue. When I talk and understand this, when I speak on uh, the issues I have with black women uh, with, with this bullshit that they doing, when I, you know, black bitches and hoes, that's what I call these retarded black bitches. But black women, I have an author that's about to send me a book tomorrow. And I, I feel, no, I know her name. Miss Felicia Hill. Miss Felicia Hill is sending me a book. I don't remember the name. I'm so sorry, Miss Felicia. But she's sending me a book, and tomorrow I'll be opening that book. That's a black woman. The way she spoke to me. That's a black woman. That's not no bitch, no hoe. I'm a very big proponent. Shut the fuck up! I'm a very, I'm a very big proponent for only a hit dog holler. Oh if you don't fit this fucking stereotype, then this ain't got shit to do with you. But if you feel like you a black bitch and a black hoe, then run down the street and be offended with it. You fat, unattractive bitch. Let me, look, for my new subscribers also, if you're new to this channel, and you want to support it, you go to the PayPal. The link is in the description. Give what you can. The PayPal is paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. If you have a question about promoting on the show, you have a product you want to advertise, um, go to the Facebook Messenger. I, I um, prefer people going to the Facebook Messenger. Um, if you go to the Instagram Messenger, it's going to take longer for me to reply to you. So if you go to the Facebook Messenger, I'll be able to get right to you. I'll let you see what's going on. You do need to have a budget of $100. I don't do any work for under $100. If you cannot fuck with that, then you probably need to go holler at somebody else and tell them the ideas you have. I don't give a fuck about your product or your music. I'm just trying to get paid and shit like that. You will have to have a certain... Your product does have to work like... Um, the olive leaf extract, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Dwayne with that shit. Uh, all the artists I deal with, I make sure that they actually have something that's worth talking about. So it's not that I don't care about whether the music is good or not. I just don't give a fuck about you being an entrepreneur or a rapper. It's business first. Once we get to that, then we'll go down the line. Because the, the truth about this shit is, if I wasn't popping, you wouldn't want to fuck with me. Two months ago, nobody was fucking me. So it's all business. So let's keep it all business. Um, what else? What else? Uh, fold the PayPal. All the AO Nation donates and stuff like that. So all of the AO Nation veterans, they know what's going on. If you're new to the channel, get with the program. If you can't donate financially, share the videos on your social media. Make sure people see it. Spread the word around and fuck with it like that. But you, when you come here, you're going to have to do something. You can't just sit here and watch the videos. This is what I'm talking about today. You have people around you that call you once a week. My nigga on Icy going through this shit. It's a motherfucker that call him once a week just to see what the fuck he doing. Don't want shit. Don't give shit. Just want to see where the fuck you at. Just making sure. And niggas like that who just check up on niggas who just got a whole bunch of niggas like it's bitches who will they just potential Potential seekers. So they just trying to see who the fuck they need to have a... That's more the shit I'm talking about. See what nigga they need to have a baby by. Leech motherfuckers. To where... This nigga might blow. Let me make sure I stay in touch with him. But I'm going to stay far enough away to where I don't have to give nothing. But I'm going to be close enough to where if he make it, uh, he feel like he owe me something. This is what I'm talking about. My nigga, if you become successful in entertainment... Or in any facet of fucking business in America, you don't owe a motherfucker shit. The motherfucker that you owe will be your partner. The motherfucker who believed and sacrificed just as much as you did. If they did not sacrifice as much as you did, you don't owe them a motherfucking thing. If they have not sacrificed the same amount of shit, I'm talking the same amount of tears, pain, losses, the scrutiny, the people laughing at them, Talking about them while they walk down the fucking street. Won't give them a ride. The motherfuckers who uh, tell you that they're going to let you get $15. And when they don't answer the phone, you walk all the way to their house. 
knock on their door, they wife answer the door, you ask, and, and the wife say, oh, he sleep. I'm like, oh man, well, I, he said he's gonna let me get 15, he know I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow, he said he's gonna let me get $15, I got, I don't have no other way to get the, I, I don't, I call him, mama, she don't got it, I, I need the $15, he said he's gonna give it to me, and I've been calling him all day, then he comes to the door like, oh man, you should have called me. The only way niggas play with you like that is when they know that you don't have shit. The only way and the only reason someone will play with you like that is when they not only don't believe in you, but they know that you don't have shit so you can't do shit. Oh man, you should have called me. Dog, I've been calling you since 9 o'clock this morning. It's 9 o'clock at night now. I had to walk all the way down here so, so I can, I don't, if I don't go to the doctor, dog, I'm, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta get my medicine every day. Oh man, she I ain't got it right now. What we can't go? You got an ATM card? Can we go to the ATM? Oh man, I, I can't go out right now. Oh, you have multiple vehicles. You can't go to the ATM and get the all good. Uh, you, I'm saying you, I ain't got it on me though. I'm saying you got your card. We go to the ATM. When you had to start, oh man, I, I, I tell you what, man. I, uh, Oh, you agreed that you'll let me get fifteen dollars, and you know what that is. You know what that is. You struggling because you sacrificed everything that you've had into your dream, and people laugh at you because now you down because you put all your money on yourself, and the shit fell through. You put all your money into a trip to LA and it fell through. Now, oh nobody should have to pay for you to get back on your feet and shit like that, but I'm just letting you know, you can find out then who truly supports you. You'll find out then who, there is no in, if, ands, or buts about it. Every business move will not be a good one, but every failure is a success because now you know what not to do. And that information is fucking priceless because every time you try something, that's time. If somebody comes in the game after you and they try the same things you try, they wasted the same amount of time you did. But if you can tell them what not to do, you just save them time. And what is time? Money. That experience that you have in your field is money. What in the fuck is that? <laughs> and you don't have to explain to your oh loved ones because your friends are your loved ones. Sometimes you love your friends more than you love your family. You don't have to explain to them what support means. The outside world is not gonna fuck with you until they see that you have the support of your hometown. But your hometown won't fuck with you until they see somebody else fucks with you. Do I need to say that again? What in the fuck is on my goddamn back, dog? Oh my God, Goddamn vest fucking me up. Need to wear a shirt up under this bitch. The people, the outside world is not going to fuck with you. No matter what you have. I don't care what rapping, engineering, cameraman, nail shop, hair shop, car shop, paint shop, whatever the fuck you got, landscaping. You need support. Now, I, 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 I'll take that back. This really only applies, if it applies to your field, then that's good, because, but I don't know about anybody else's field. In entertainment, you need, your brand needs to be validated by your hometown. People, as, as an Alabama nigga, I'm looking at, if a oh Wyoming artist calls me and says, I'm this nigga, yeah, 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 yeah. When I look at his videos, I'm expecting to see a certain amount of views, and I'm, I'm expecting to see a certain amount of support, a certain amount of people in his videos. 
if I see his video got a hundred views and there's nobody in the video but him, I nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? What you woofing about? Nobody fuck with you. Understand, if you have music videos and there's nobody in your fucking videos, then they don't fuck with you. Embody that. If you have your own shop, you just got it off the ground, and I see you, like you just started your business and shit like that, you, you swear it's gonna work. You swear it's gonna work because, yeah, these motherfuckers fuck with me. But what you fucking up is, you thinking just because they dap you off and say, hell yeah, I'm gonna be there, boy, hell yeah. You thinking that means supporting you, letting that shit gas you the fuck up. You think because you got 20 likes or 30 likes on social media, you think you own now. When that shit start, you gonna get a whole lot of fucking excuses. Why was Jiffy to come down and why what 12 got behind why, I don't know what the fuck going on with this goddamn car. Y'all nah, look, I say, hey look, 12, you gonna be open tomorrow? Yeah, cause like man, yeah, cause uh, yeah, tomorrow be better than all here, yeah. Call the bitch, hey, hey why, why you ain't you said you gonna come? Girl, you wouldn't believe this nigga goddamn came in the house three o'clock in the morning. I had to keep this nigga mind right, girl. You gonna be open tomorrow? I'm gonna come down there. You trying to run your food shop. The reason why you open this food shop is because all these motherfuckers told you, oh, you need to start selling this shit up. You need to open up your, oh, you need to, motherfuckers, there's a difference between talkers and doers. See, you're a doer. Motherfuckers sit and you know in business, all you need is a demand and a supply. You got it in location. You got demand for it. Everybody want it. Now, you need a location and a supply. All good. You got it. Now, since you got the supply and the location, you on for business. The man gone because that demand wasn't nothing but words. That shit was verbal. They ain't even fuck about it. They're going to still go down there to Hardy's, Burger King, and fucking McDonald's. If you think I'm bullshitting and you think you're above this goddamn shit, try the shit. See, you can tell... Who's never done? And let me, I'm a, and I'm gonna talk to you conscious niggas in just a second. Don't get on my goddamn videos talking about a, a goddamn thing. Do not be promoting no motherfucking dog. Fuck that. So oh my God, you don't owe nobody a goddamn thing if you succeed, and you will succeed. See the motherfuckers that fuck with me, y'all scoured the internet and. You see this nigga, that nigga, this nigga, that nigga. That shit don't touch you though because they just talking. They just talking. You a different type of person. If you fuck with me, you a different type of person. You trying to find out, so what the fuck is wrong with what I got going on? I'm doing it, but I'm not doing it right for some reason. I'm not connecting. So, there's a disconnect somewhere. Where the fuck is it at? So allow me to at least Cut off the goddamn fat. Motherfuckers act like it ain't shit that you want to do. Like, you, you don't just want to fuck off and don't do a goddamn thing and just not handle business. Everybody want to be willy-nilly. Everybody want to be around their children, around their bitch, and do this and fucking that. But you got to sacrifice. I had a nigga tell me that uh, he a family man, but he want to be a rapper. It's over with for you, my nigga. That don't mix. That's the reason I told you fuck niggas about that Drake shit. That shit is just how it is. I don't give a fuck how many pictures a nigga take with his goddamn child. If you serious about your business, you are not gonna be a good parent. Cause parenting take the same shit that a good career takes. Attention, affection, all of your thought, ideas, time, affection. Every day, all day, to be successful in this business, with all this competition around, you have to be on your shit 24 fucking seven. Not being around and just chilling with your fucking feet up. If that's what you do, you gonna fall by the goddamn wayside. You ask any popping artist, how long do they have to spend with their child? And then you go in your mind and say, how long should a good father, how long should a good parent spend with their children? And that shit will not match up. Would you rather have somebody who financially takes care of the children or they're physically there every day but don't pay no finance, don't pay shit? You're either going to be a family man or a fucking artist. You're going to be a family man or a businessman. Just because you at that guy. Listen, there are parents who come home but do they're not home. 
They're spaced the fuck out. They're soldiers who came back who are all the way gone. They just physically there. They just a shell of themselves. The children ain't getting shit from them. No, no, no nurturing, no no nothing. But from the outside looking in, it's like, that's a perfect family. The father's there, the mother's there, white picket fence, two and a half kids, a dog, two cars. You don't know what the fuck going on, but y'all instead of judging. And see, I'm telling you niggas, if you want to be this right here, then go ahead and be that and let a nigga know that you want to be that. All you can ask for the people that you, your loved ones, all that you can ask for them is for them to let you know exactly what they want to be. If they say that they want to be all in with the business, then you have all rights to tell them, hey, I know that you're trying to be a good parent, but you said you want to be this right here. I'm going to need you to stop giving me excuses about what the fuck happened with your kids. If you don't want to sacrifice a little time with them so that you can actually give them something, because be sure, my nigga, if you don't do something supernatural, you not going to be financial. You're not going to do shit for them kids financially. I'm talking to all y'all. If you actually trying to give your kids something, first of all, you shouldn't have had the fucking kids if you weren't already in a position where you could do more for them than what was done for you as a child. That's the first thing. But if you actually try to give them kids something that you didn't have when you was growing up, then you're going to have to sacrifice some time around them. You're going to have to sacrifice some games, some, some practices, some recitals. You're going to sacrifice that for a couple years. Because as a motherfucker who has a business, you're not going to be able to key in. You're going to have to be gone thinking. See, motherfuckers ain't gonna tell you this shit. Motherfucker, oh yeah, look at me with my kid. Look at me, oh yeah, I love my child. You don't have that motherfucker there in the studio and you in the studio 24-7. He, he a good father. That's you motherfucker, retarded ass hood man. He a good daddy. They always dress alike. What the fuck? I'm not talking to you retarded motherfuckers. If that's how you feel that a nigga's a good father because goddamn uh, he take a, a picture with a kid, if a bitch is a good mother because goddamn the kids got clothes on when they come outside, go over there to these niggas' pages. I'm talking to motherfuckers who actually trying to do something. Ain't no bare minimum on my end. I'm either this or I'm that, and I'm a choose. I'm not gonna straddle the fence to where I don't get shit done. As long as you straddling that fence, I'm over here today, over here tomorrow, you're not gonna get a goddamn thing done. You're gonna fail on both fronts. <laughs> to actually be a impactful anything, you have to be just that. That's all. Understand me. If a motherfucker does not wanna clean up their act, if you got, if you, like I said, if you're doing a nail business, and this bitch will not stop coming to work high. I don't give a fuck. She could be the best nail technician in the whole goddamn store. You get that bitch the fuck away from you. And the streets is going to say that you a fucking hater. Y'all the fucking y'all. They going to whine and complain. But when your business go from goddamn the hood to the suburban part of town. And you got a whole mixture. And now you hiring white girls. You in a whole nother bracket. To where you can't even hear what the fuck they saying. Now, when you hire that girl's, that girl who wouldn't stop smoking weed, when you hire her cousin, that same bitch you were talking about you two, about, yeah, about you two, when you hire her and she don't smoke, she gonna understand then. And this is what I'm telling y'all. What's gonna happen is, once you start make, once you, once you're serious enough about your business to where you start cutting off loved ones because they not getting with the program and really believing in you, oh you gonna get where you need to go and they're gonna come around. Give them a second chance. Give them a second chance. You gonna see a difference. But also remember that jealousy, jealousy and ignorance creates a murderer. Sometimes you need to really be able to gauge shit. Take your feelings and emotions out of your business. Gauge whether or not that person is jealous of you or not. Because like I said, that girl may be 
the best nail technician in the whole place. And she may feel that she should be the goddamn boss. She coming to work high and drunk in defiance of you. She flexing, she doing the nails the best, but you telling her, hey, I got white women coming. I got, I'm blessed enough to have a mixed clientele. And I think I'm losing them because they're coming in, they're smelling alcohol, they're smelling weed. And I don't smell like weed, I don't smell like alcohol. I got peppermint and I use Visine and shit like that. Listen, you got red eyes, I don't give a fuck. You smell like weed and alcohol, I don't give a fuck if you can notice it. They can notice it because I can notice it. And plus the fact, we're not going to have no argument. As soon as you can actually be the, you want to be the boss because you're talented. Yes, you are talented. And you can be so much better because you have potential. But until you're actually ready to learn how to balance the books, pay the bills here, keep the lights on, promote, start, get your cards, get the business cards, get an LLC license, um, actually get on social media and work the goddamn place, reach out to other uh, nail shops, Get the supplies in, balance that out, have a bank stock, and everything it takes to actually, like, actually be a boss and run a business, you're going to be a motherfucking employee. You have to break this shit down to your loved ones and let them know where they really at. Because if you don't tell them, no one else will. See, the thing about being that nigga, I'm going to tell you something. Every time you see that nigga, there is a nigga on side of him. And that nigga on side of him is his number one man. That's, that's the number two right there. The number two, that's the side man, whatever like that. Now, that's a very important position because that nigga can either be the one that saved your life or take your goddamn life. You need to make sure that that number two man don't mind being the number two man. You have to believe in yourself enough to cut people the fuck off no matter how much you fuck with them. Do you believe in yourself enough to, well, okay, you my friend, you the one I can soul to, you my sister, you the one I can soul to, you know more about me than anybody else in this world, but I believe in my business and my business is not going to flourish as long as I'm worried about getting you the way you need to be at and you fighting against me to get you there. Cut them, if they do not believe in you, cut them the fuck off, do it yourself. You don't owe anybody a goddamn thing. Period. Big Facts Podcast, I am El Conseco. Y'all make sure I hit that PayPal, show love. All the new subscribers, make sure you go to the goddamn social media and share these videos. Love, love.